I'm Nikki Key, and you're watching The Daily Idea. For Super Bowl week, we offer you a special tribute to the only thing most people will be talking about this Monday morning, the commercials. Every year we expect Madison Avenue's best work, but what we end up with is one truly funny commercial for every 10 that suck. We hope you enjoy. Good evening, America. Welcome to Super Bowl 42, brought to you by Bud Light. Rod Dickman here. I'm joined by Peter Johnson. Nice to be with you, Pete. Oh, thanks, Rod. Nice to be with you. It's going to be a great time. We'll be right back with the kickoff. Sure, I remember it. I remember it like it was yesterday. It was yesterday. Ah, uh, that's right, man. That was crazy. It was crazy. And do you understand what you did? Are you aware that 36 people are in intensive care? 36? Is that the number now? Hmm, that's a lot. Look, when I need beer, I need it. I mean, I gotta have it. And you were already drunk at the time. If I would have been drunk, none of this would have ever happened. I already told you I needed beer. I actually need light beer. Bud Light beer. When you'll do anything for free beer, anything at all, including messing up some old people real, real bad, you need Bud Light beer. And we're back! A quick summary of the action while we are away. Kickoff, tackle, run, punt, catch, long pass, and the score at the end of the first quarter, Pats 14, Giants 3. Stay with us. And you were willing to do whatever it took to get that Bud Light beer. I guess you could say that. So you admit your involvement in this. Come on, dude. You got the video. You know that's me with the pantyhose on my head. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have kept those on. When you'll do anything for free beer, anything at all, including messing up some old people real, real bad, you need Bud Light Beer. It's Halftime America. The Patriots lead 23-10. One program note we should mention, the Bud Light Halftime Show brought to you by Bud Light. We'll be right back. So I tried to steal some beer from a retirement home. Big deal. What made you think they had beer anyway? Well, I guess I got some bad information. Yeah, I'd say you got some bad information. And who gave you this bad information? My neighbor's dog. Your neighbor's dog. Seems like I've heard that somewhere before. Sure, one of your neighbor's cat. Maybe your neighbor's bird. It was his dog. And that dog's got a big mouth. If he told the cat, the whole neighborhood's going to know about the free beer. Listen to your neighbor's dog. Do what he says. Do it now. Bud Light Beer. Well, that about wraps it up here for Super Bowl 42. Giants over the Patriots in a squeaker. Have a Bud Light or six before bed. From all of us here at Fox, good evening. I should have never trusted that dog. He probably tipped off the cops, too. I think the uh, neighbors probably were the ones who tipped off the cops. What neighbors? Uh, let's see. You stole a car and ran over a chain link fence. You hit a fire hydrant. You pulled a case of bug bombs out of the trunk of your car and put on a pair of black pantyhose over your head. You didn't think the neighbors would call the police? I thought people would mind their own business. Let me see, well, wait, let me see if I've got this straight. You plan to set off 50 bug bombs, one by one, in an assisted living facility so you could fog the place and steal their Bud Light. Look, dude, when I need beer, I'll do whatever it takes to get the beer. Sometimes things get out of hand. Listen to your neighbor's dog. Do what he says. Do it now. Bud Light Beer.